So day two in Ko Chang and I'm going to start with a little tour of the accommodation that we stayed in. It was the Princess Royal Lagoon Resort on White Sands Beach. We booked it through hotels.com and to be honest the pictures look great. Some of the reviews are really really good. However when we got there we were sadly let down and quite shocked at the... Uh, at the cleanliness of the place. If it wasn't for the fact that we were tired from driving and we already paid and there was no refunds as they take your money straight away, uh, we'd have just gone elsewhere. However, a bit further down White Sands Beach, there is a resort called KC's, that's K for Kilo and C for Charlie's Resort. They've got bungalows and they've got a hotel there and it looks exceptionally good. So anyone that wants to stay at White Sands Beach, I can highly recommend KC's or the huts towards the end of the beach. Look quite funky. Anyhow, I hope you enjoy this segment of our adventure in Kochang. So this is where we're staying. It's got bird shit all over it. Some leaks. This is a balcony. And there's the shops. Some dodgy Painting. electrics. Painting. It's in serious need of update. I'll show you our room, but it's quite poor. Bird oh. shit everywhere. At least it's not Loch Barry, otherwise, uh, there'd be monkeys everywhere. Come here. You fell upstairs then. Oh yeah, in the eating area. Look at it. Spend a bit, a bit more cash and uh, look, fuck knows how long that's been there for. Anyhow, we've got a few things to do today and then uh, we'll crack on with the day. Anyhow, after getting over the disappointment of our room, we ventured off to the many waterfalls of Kocha. So we got to the waterfall and yeah, yeah and you have to pay because it's part of the National Trust. It's uh, five pounds for tourists and then it's one pound for ties. Uh, I take advantage of this because there's lots of waterfalls and uh, great scenery. How do peeps so here we are at our first waterfall of Ko Chang. Nam Tok Tamayom. Nam Tok How much does it cost? Uh, for you, for foreigner, five pounds. For five, five. Five are for, for, for us Brits and for the Thais it's a quid. Yeah. It's a nice little estuary here where it meets the sea. So let's go have a look see. Quite a nice day so far, quite nice and warm. Just wait for our ass, I don't know where she is. 
This is me waiting. <laughs> Quite a lot of rainfall last night and this morning. Uh, had a decent run this morning as well. Lots of hills to run up and down. I'm sure you're all really interested about that. Very nice. The information board about Korachan. I quite enjoyed the drive up here yesterday. It was uh, not as um, as hectic as Bangkok tra traffic. I don't think I'd be so confident driving around Bangkok as uh, what I was yesterday. I leave that to our lass. You can do that. So it's about 400 metres roughly to the waterfall. of the uh, foresty bits and pieces keep an eye out for moving twigs or snakes you don't need anything else to go friggin long Ah, oh, that's probably looking for more food. There she is, the girl of my dreams, our oh, lass. She's a good lass. I'll be lost without her. I'll be lost without her. My world. Oh no, we've got to cross a bridge. It's quite deep in there. And down there is the beach, the sea. So this is an estuary. Oh, where the fresh water meets the salt water. It's some more oh, glass, glass type of fish. Some fish in there. Where there's fish, there's crocodiles. Oh, shop. Sure. Need a drink. Need a drink. After a bit of an adventurous trek with plenty of uh, obstacles and I, I slipped and fell, uh, we finally arrived at the waterfall. 
Uh, this one was quite a small waterfall, but it was still nice and pleasant. The water was quite warm actually, I had loads of fish in it. It's uh, popular with tourists. to the right hand side of it Galea well my shoes are getting nice and washed anyhow not far to go now This is real action camera. Yes, yes. Who dares wins? And the waterfall. 